Hey what's up and how's it going? My name is Toby and in today's video I want to show you guys how you can create your own playback recordings to use in Unity and Lightship so you guys can debug and test out your AR applications inside the editor like you see here. So in order to get started the process is pretty much straightforward. You're going to need to create a new Unity project or you can just import the um, ARDK samples which uh, there is a link in the video description to inside of your actual project that uses the Lightship ARDK 3 and has also the Lightship Shared AR package installed. So if you want to know how to do that, take a look in the video description. There's plenty of information there. So then you just need to click on the ARDK samples main, which I just downloaded and I dragged the folder into uh, my assets folder by just revealing it in my file explorer and then just dragging in the file basically here. So then you just need to open the ARDK samples main, then go to assets, uh, samples, and then go to scanning uh, scenes and open recording. So this is pretty much a pre uh, created scene that you can just build onto your device in order to start recording. So all you got to do then is go to your build settings and then open the scene at the open scene to your build settings and build it to either iOS or your Android device. So once you've installed it, you can just open up the app and then start recording by just pointing it towards whatever you want to record and click on start. And if you finish, you can just click on export and you will get a little notification if everything was successful. So now I just want to give you a quick tips on what kind of scenes you should record. So for me personally, I found out by just trial and error that you should always try to keep your camera as still as possible. So don't do any wild movements. You can do a little bit of a pan left and right but overall I would just recommend to just keep the uh, camera still and it's also very important that pretty much the algorithm can understand the depth and how the scene is built um, within one image so for example what you shouldn't do is just point the camera downwards onto your desk where you can for example just basically see a white plane because the algorithm is not really going to understand this. So kind of the, the rule I made up for myself is from one image, you should understand how the scene looks. So always go a bit more backwards and just have give the algorithm an easy time to understand what's actually going on in your scene. And so when you uh, will follow these two rules, then you should get very good results within uh, the Unity editor. Okay, so in order to get these rec recordings back onto your device, well, now it depends on whether you have an iOS or an Android device. So for Android, you can use the Android file transfer. And for iOS, you want to use uh, Xcode on, on your Mac. So I, I have a Mac and iOS, um, so I'm going to use Xcode. And I will also leave some information in the video description on how to do it on Android. It's it's a lot easier on Android, I would say, because you can just use Android file transfer. So in Xcode, we want to go to just open the, um, the app here and then we can go to uh, product, destination, manage run destinations. And then we're going to see our phone here. And then what we want to do is we want to search for the, the app that we have installed. Um, and then if we have uh, the correct one chosen, Click on this three dots here and just download the container and for example, go to, to documents, right? So just save it and download the files. And this can take some time. Oh, there's a, there's a third rule actually, I forgot about that. Make your recordings quick. So I would recommend to do 20 seconds or something at most because in the editor you can just run the footage back and forth, so loop it. And if you do long recordings, about a minute or so, and if you're gonna do several of them, it will take forever because those files are gonna get really big as it will also store some depth information for each frame. So once this has finished exporting, 
you will gonna get this file here, at least if you use Xcode, if you use Android, you can probably already get uh, the file that we are now going to retrieve within the uh, file uh, transfer uh, program. So what we wanna do is we're gonna show package contents, go to app data, then documents, scan kit, and this is pretty much, um, this is pretty much our data here. So what we need is the chunk uh, underscore zero dot tgz. And if you if you are more impatient, then you could also just search for a file that has dot tgz because those are the files that we need. And now we can just copy it somewhere where we can store it and open it in our Unity editor. So I'm gonna just copy that and just gonna go outside of my folder here. Just gonna create a new folder and I call it desk horizontal two, like that. I'm just gonna paste it. And then we can uh, basically unzip this file. So if you're on Windows, depending on what kind of zip program you uh, use, you might not get this um, JSON file here. So I read that someone using 7-zip had issues while using WinRAR, everything worked fine. So if you unzip your file and you don't have this capture.json, try a different unzipping program. So, yeah, but basically we got our file now here. So we can just take a look at it. And in order to use it, let's go back into our Unity um, program and then open up our scene. So go to scenes, game board navigation, for example. Uh, in, in my case, it's just a pro, uh, uh, project I've got open here. And then we want to go into our settings and then as a data set path, choose wherever we just went. So in my case, Lightship Playback Desk Horizontal 2. Just choose this one and click on play. And now we should just see the video we just recorded. Yeah, so perfect. And yep, our scene is working and we can now go ahead and test out our app. So one more thing to notice about recording sample videos is that if you're gonna record the video in horizontal mode as we did it in our example here, we also have to replicate this in the Unity editor. And for example, if I would have recorded within uh, the portrait mode uh, in my app, I would also have to choose the portrait mode in the editor. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.